Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am back with another video and I am back with another horizontal plan with me. So if you guys watch my video on Monday, you'll know that I already planned for the week in my vertical planner, but I wanted to make sure that you guys had two videos in a week, every week. So I'm also going to plan for the week in my horizontal planner, seeing as how I have the horizontal planner uh, all the way through to the end of the year and I have some horizontal kits left over so I figured I may as well use them. Um, so we're just going to sort of flip back to the last time I did a horizontal which was back in August. It seems like so long ago but like it honestly wasn't. It was literally less than a month ago. So I just did a um, sweet bean plans kit and it turned out really, really good, and it's super, super cute. And I just marked it off so that if I need to reference it, I can, because it's been, like, honestly, like, I haven't really, other than that one, I haven't planned in my horizontal since I got my vertical at the beginning of July. So, like, that's two full months. So I just got to, you know, get back into the groove of things. So if you guys watched my vertical plan with me on Monday... Um, you'll know that I had a slight hiccup with the kits. I grabbed the wrong kit and I had to um, go through and grab the right one afterwards. Um, so we are actually going to be planning with my uh, Bows and Spells kit from Little Miss Papery this time. Um, yeah, that was, uh, that was interesting. So as you can see, the bottom washi is missing. That's because I put it down on the other one when I didn't need it. So we're just gonna ignore that because we don't need it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put down the header strips for this guy. And we'll see how it goes. So I'm not gonna bother going through the kit with you because I did do that on the horizontal that you know never made it to fruition or the vertical that never made it to fruition um so already my week is a little bit in disarray so it's wednesday morning that i'm filming this um i was supposed to not have to work until um three today and i got a text from one of my employees and he's like hey you and I talked about not me not being available on the 12th, which is today. And you made, you scheduled me. And I'm like, did you write it down in the book? He's like, no. And I'm like, well, that's why. <laughs> um, I, if, you, if it's not written down, I will not remember it. Like, I absolutely will not remember it. Um, I've got too much going on. So... But because he said that I talked, I, he talked with me, I was like, fine, and it's for school too. I'm like, fine, not a problem. I will come in. So I'm coming in and I'm doing essentially a nine hour day on what should be my day off. But hey, winter tires and you know, all the, the holiday stuff that is coming out right now. So I'm bummed, but at the same time, I'm not terribly surprised. There we go. So I was supposed to start at 10. I talked with my assistant that's opening this morning and I'm like, you think you can handle it without me for an extra half hour? She's like, yeah, we're good. So I'm going in at 10.30 instead of 10. Um, and then if it's quiet this evening, I'm gonna leave early. Cause like I'm supposed to be there till 7.30. But like I said, if it's quiet, then there's no point in me being there. Um, my other assistant is closing with somebody I'm thinking of making a key holder, so I am not concerned. Okay, so I brought out my BIC again. I'm just gonna see if it's gonna work. See, sometimes it works great, and then sometimes it doesn't work at all. So I just whited out the notes there and I'm just going to go through and I'm going to do my date covers first. And I think 
I'm going to do like this thing is so fat you guys like it is honestly hard to work in um, I have a flip through that I filmed a while back for one of my weeks that I didn't post to um, but I've never uploaded it and I keep meaning to um, but I just haven't so maybe one day there we go yeah so this thing is playing nice today because I grabbed my old one just in case um, I think I'm gonna use the lightning bolts one go ahead put that down now is it light enough that I need to white out the rest of the day yeah probably stick don't do this um, so that was the changes for today um, Monday was normal. I was training a new girl on Monday and she is awesome and I really like her. So I have a feeling that that's going to work out really, really well. And then the only thing is, um, so she's got another job right now. She gave her two weeks, um, so that she could come work with us, which I love her for. And I'm also like other managers would be like, no, just blah, 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 I come work with me. I'm like, I will not do that. I will not do that to another manager. That is honestly one of the cruelest things that you can do is insist that the employee make themselves available at all times, starting from their hire date, especially if they have another job. I will not do it because I've had people do it to me. And honestly, it is so frustrating. So I will not do it. So she gave her two weeks at her other job, but there was a slight miscommunication on scheduling. She didn't think she had a shift with us today, or not today, yesterday, um, and she had a shift with the other job yesterday. Um, she did have a shift with us, so I was by myself for a good part of the, actually the entirety of the morning yesterday, come on, and it was, uh, I won't say that it was busy, because it wasn't busy, it was just Difficult customers is the best way to describe it. People who wouldn't listen. <laughs> so that was fun. But I also had another new girl training yesterday and she also did really, really well. So I'm very, very um, optimistic about that. And then um, I had an interview or I had a scheduled interview yesterday as well and she no showed so I called my other person that I had sort of it was going to be between this person that I was interviewing and this other person that I had already interviewed um, I just wanted to see who would be the better of the two and you know the one who actually showed up is obviously the better one so I hired her so she's gonna come in today and get her paperwork all filled out and we'll get her on the schedule. So I'm training three new staff members right now. So lucky me. And I've got two or three that are existing that are, you know, they're good and they're strong, but at the same time, they're not as strong as some of my other part-timers. Uh, part so I also have that to keep an eye on. So, and my assistant and I are, we have one guy who we want to make a key holder. So we're training him on closing and keys and all that. So it's been a crazy couple of days. So I'm not training today. Thank goodness. I needed a break. <laughs> because I was only supposed to be in for four and a half hours, but now that is not so. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the full boxes down. Oh, that folded, there we go. Um, I'm gonna start on Wednesday actually with a quote box and it's Luna's, don't worry, you're just the same as I am. 
All right, so that's gonna go down there. I think I'm gonna do the Hogwarts crest on Monday. Um, so what else has changed? So on, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last plan with me, but on, um, on Friday I came home and there was a notice saying that um, my rental agency or my rental management company would be, it's okay, uh, would be entering my unit yesterday to install a new patio door. Um, I got a call yesterday while I was at work and apparently they were unable to do it. So they're coming back today, which is fine. I don't mind. Like I said, it, I don't generally like it when um, people are in my unit without me, but I know that they treat my space with respect. So I don't, like I said, I don't mind it, but I just don't prefer it. Um, so like the idea of them being here two days in a row, not ideal, but whatever. If it means that I get a new patio door, then I am a-okay. And then on the weekend, I always do it in the actual box. Perfect. Okay, excellent. All right, so that is that part done. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna work on my sidebar. It's not really a sidebar, but oh, I'm just gonna have a flip back just to see. Um, okay, so we need a habit tracker. And there's one right here. We'll just sort of pop that in the corner and a little strip of cut washi, which um, actually I'm not loving her selection of cut washi. So I'm going to grab. Ugh. So this is just from one of my Heidi Swap um, washi boxes or washi tubes. So I'm gonna pull that. Come on. Okay, fine, the other way. So I just grabbed this glitter one. Where's the end? Where's the end? There it is. And of course I didn't bring my scissors over this time. Ugh. All right. So we're just gonna pop that right there. You know, actually make it straight. No, no. Um, so yeah, and Sunday, my plan was to relax and you know, play some Sims and all that. And it took, so I can't render and play Sims at the same time. My computer just cannot handle it. Um, it took nine hours to render my video. Nine hours. I'm like, that is unnecessary. So I think my get a new computer timeline has moved because yeah, my computer just can't handle what I need it to handle. And it's getting a bit frustrating. Like there are days where like I'm rendering and I've just got YouTube on and it can't handle YouTube. It's like skipping and like jumping and all of that. And I'm just like, come on. Like I'm not asking you to do a lot. I just want you to play a video while 
I render things. Okay, so I'm gonna put a habit tracker down. Perfect. And just another strip of washi. Ah, I just dropped it on me. And another half box. Just making sure that the washi is the right length and it is too long. There we go. Ah, it's stuck, it's stuck, it's stuck. There we go. Okay. So just a little bit of shine on here. Just because I'm not using any foil on this one, I'm gonna use save my foil for my actual, the, the plans that I actually pay attention to. Like this is just, it's for show. Um, what was I grabbing? <laughs> a half box, that's what I was doing. I swear guys, I'm useful, I promise. All right, I'm going to grab this little rose printed one and that can go just there and then I'm just going to grab my icons and there's a money one which we will put there and does she have a scale um No, but she has a dumbbell or a kettlebell. So we'll use that. I'm about to fall, like slide off of my couch here. Okay, so that is that. Already it is looking super, super cute. Um, so let's start on Monday. I'm just gonna have another flip back. So we're gonna do my meal little things. And I got this as an add-on sheet. So she, if I'm remembering correctly, she used to include in her little icons, um, knife and fork icons. So I would just use that on top of the quarter boxes because her quarter box game is strong. Um, but she changed her format and as a result, um, she got rid of those knife and forks and she added this labels sheet that has like all your little things, which was kind of annoying, but at the same time, like I understand why, because not everybody plans the way I plan. And I think sometimes I get that stuck in my head that, you know, well, this is how I plan. So obviously this is how the format should be but not everybody plans the way I do. So I need to get over myself basically. Um, put this red one down and yellow and blue. Perfect. So those are the meal little things. And then on Monday, actually I'm gonna put my crochet, um, my crochet, my crochet icons down for here. I have not crocheted at all this week so far, but I will. I'm gonna do this sort of tealy colored one. It doesn't really match perfectly, but I'm gonna do it anyways. And these are from Copy Break Planner. And then I'm going to grab my running shoes from Pretty Sheepy. I'm going to put those down. So I did go to the gym on Monday. Does she have like flags? No, she doesn't. Okay, that's fine. So running shoe, I was I went yesterday or Monday. I was meant to go yesterday and I did not go. 
trying to decide if I want to go tonight. I kind of want to go tonight. So I'm going to put one down for tonight. And you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gym stuff with me because I have a harder time of not going if I bring my stuff with me. So that is how I'm going to get around that. <laughs> and then I'm going to go tomorrow. And I'm going to go on Friday. Perfect. Very, very cute. And then next thing we're going to do is my quarter boxes for my work. I'm just going to use this sheet. I love how many quarter boxes she includes. Like, honestly, that is one of my favorite things about her format is just how many quarter boxes there are. Do a patterned one. I might move that one over just so that we don't have a straight line of things. There we go. That's cute. That works for me. We'll do another. Mm, let's do green. Let's not do green. Let's do blue. Uh, there we go. Do blue. We'll do another patterned one. Let's do the lightning bolts. do green and we'll do the bows we'll actually you know put it straight there we go and then we'll do the yellow and that one I'm going to put over here Okay, so that is that part done. Um, and I'm gonna go grab my work scripts and my day off scripts. One of these days I will actually, you know, be able to use my day off scripts properly, like two a week, but today is, or this week is not that week. So whatever. So, and this is from um, Planning with Miss Daisy. I just want to get it centered. There we go. And I love her little work scripts. They're just black and white, but they are so dainty and so cute. I just love them. Love them, love them. It's just I go through the work scripts so much. So like, I think I order work scripts from every shop that has them. Like literally every shop. As long as I like the font. Okay, perfect. And then day off, which is, what did which is also from, from Planning with Miss Daisy. We'll just sort of right across the center there. There we go. Okay, so appointment labels. Do we have appointment labels? No. Okay. Let's do some little glitter, they, they're smaller than quarter boxes. So we'll use that. And then we'll put one right there. Cause I uploaded yesterday or Monday and we'll do another one right here. 
And then we'll do one in here and one here. All right, that is looking very cute. And I'm just going to grab my film and upload scripts as well as my heart icons. I'm wondering, so I always do my Clever Gal Crafts heart icons for films and uploads, but she sent this little deco sheet. Oh, there's only two color bows. Well, that kind of works actually, because I'm only gonna upload two days. You know what? I'm not gonna use my film and edit, or not, um, what am I, who's I'm, my uh, open hearts, there we go. So, I'm going to grab this bow from the deco sheet she sent. And it's just a Ravenclaw colored bow. I'm going to grab an upload script and we're just going to plop that right there. And then a Hufflepuff bow for this one. And that's going to be film. There we go. And I found more bows on another sheet. So I'm going to grab a Slytherin green and that's going to go there and that's another upload. And then another, this one is going to be a Gryffindor red. And that's going to be another film. Perfect. Okay. And then yesterday, I meant to call the dealership, but I didn't. But it's in my other planner as yesterday. So I'm going to put it in this one as yesterday. So I'm just going to grab another little sixth box, I guess, and put it right in there. And she has she has a little telephone. I'm not in love with the shape of the telephone. It's just literally like the handset, but I'm going to use it anyways. And we'll put it right there. Um, for that, and then today I'm going to try, 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 try to either wash the car today or, um, yeah, I might do it later tonight. I haven't decided yet. So I'm just going to put that down there and then I actually have this wash car sticker and this is from the prairie planner so I just pop that right on top of there and then on Thursday I need to clean the living room. I always need to clean my living room. It is a constant state of my room or my living room is a disaster. Usually because like I've got this out, like I've got all this stuff plus like my my tripod and all that and like my de my desk is actually in my living room. So, um so clean living room. And I'm just going to grab this vacuum. 
that she has because that's pretty accurate. I'm constantly sweeping and vacuuming and all of that. Okay. And then Friday is payday. So I'm gonna grab a half box because I always use half boxes or I try to always use half boxes for payday because I like money. Money makes me happy. There we go. Grab a half box. We're just gonna plop it right there. And then she has a payday little icon thingy here. I'm just gonna pop it sort of to the side and then I'm gonna get this sort of dollar sign that's also in the kit and we'll just sort of right there. Payday! Okie dokie. And then Saturday I want to paint my nails so I'm gonna grab another one of these quarter boxes. We'll just sort of put it right there. And then I just grabbed my nail polish bottles. Oh, do you know what I also wanted to do on Thursday? Tomorrow, rather. Um, I want to get gas. I sort of have made a rule for myself that I'm not allowed to have my car go less than um, less than a just under half a tank, basically. Um, so these are my gas pumps from Lovely Rose Prints, and this is the first time I've used them, so they're super cute, and I really am excited about them. So Saturday, I want to paint my nails, and I'm just going to grab this green, and this is from. Planning roses. And then also on Friday, I need to do laundry. And then for that, I'm going to grab another half box. And I'm just going to do a solid one. go and she has a laundry day script that can go right there in the center and what else what else what else what else okay and you know what there's this cute little takeout script and I always get takeout food on Saturday. On Sunday, I need another one of these teeny tinies. And I'll put that right underneath there. And then I need to remember, for the love of God, I need to remember to post an Instagram photo. And I just grabbed my Instagram sheet from Murdoch Talks. And that is just gonna go right there. And then I need to get groceries. Um, do I have a groceries icon? No. Like there's a little grocery cart. Did I grab a little sticker shape? No, I didn't, of course not. Okay, um, so I'm gonna get another sort of half box, or not half box, quarter box, like a true quarter box. And that goes there. And then just little, this little shopping cart. And that can go right there. Super, super cute. I'm loving this. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna write everything in and I will see you back here in a minute. Okay, so guys, that's what it looks like after the pen. I think it turned out really, really cute considering I did not use any foil whatsoever. This really is like a throwback to how I used to do things. 
Um, so I just went in, I wrote down the times. I didn't actually fin or write down what time I'm leaving today because I don't know, I might leave early, haven't decided. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I have left over. So I have pretty much all of her deco sheet with the exception of the bows. I didn't use the freebie. Um, I only use the, the meal little things. I, and that's why I, it annoys me that I have to buy the entire labels sheet, but whatever. Um, I only have two ha uh, full boxes and two quarter boxes left on this sheet. Um, I have a lot, oh, I didn't put my weekend banner down. I'm always forgetting that. So I'm actually gonna do that banner. No, I just dropped it on the floor. Um, uh, it's gonna cover my work script a little bit. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. It's okay, it's still cute. Okay, so I have a lot of the the icons and stuff like that on here, but I found that I actually used more from this kit than I have in a long time. So I am okay with that. And I have a lot of date dots and what's one set of date covers, as well as some quarter boxes, half boxes, and all the checklists. And then the deco and the cut washi here and then the rest of the half boxes and the little headers and the bill dues up there. So one thing I really, and I think I've talked about this before, is her kits are very, very functional and they're very comprehensive. Um, I already know that I'm gonna pull this stuff in for a, um, not even a spread, but I use like the, the date covers and the checklists for my rings planner um, just to make it a little bit nicer so I definitely know that I'm gonna be pulling that in um, so it's a very very functional kit and it goes a long way considering she's not a very expensive shop so that I do love um, and with that that is everything you guys uh, I hope you like this and I hope that uh, you'll hit those like and subscribe buttons and I hope to hear from you. So if you want to drop me a line, feel free to do so. Um, I always respond. And if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And with that, I am out. Bye, guys.